I just want to record this. I just wanted to record this quick video for a guy I recently saw on YouTube who is 35 and he wasted his entire life, effectively, thus far. He had still been rung up on his time in the education system when he was in school and G doing his GCSEs, A levels, and uni degree, and he was still swept up in this time in which he was doing it, which at this point in life, his life is like. 10 15 years ago so with him he's perpetually stuck in the past and i wanted to create this video in order to send a message to him send a message a heartfelt purely good intentions message to him and that is to retain hope you're 35 bro at least you're turning 35 you should be 35 by the time by you by the time the video comes out because the video that you made is roughly five months ago at this point you are 35 you wasted all the years up to this point so far. You're living in your parents' house. You're not fit. You don't look fit. You look skinny. You look like a geek, quite honestly. You look like a geek. You look like a person who invested his entire life in the video games. Which is exactly probably what you've done. Video games, porn, bad habits, social media. All these type of things you invested all your energy and time into with any free time you get after work because you do work, I see you do work. Like you, you could have spent this time reading books instead. And it's pointless thinking about the past and it's pointless thinking about what you could do and what you can't, cannot do. But like it, it is difficult, you're in a difficult position. I understand this because I was at home for a year plus. I've been at home for a year plus, I'm still at home for a year, for a year plus. Only recently I've been to taking action, immense action to change my life, reading books, getting into shape. Trying to get a training ship, trying to get a job off thereafter as well. It's only recently I've done those things. But I am taking action and I am trying to move forward in my life. And I'm not trying to stay in the same place forever. Because I know if I do, I'll rot, I'll die, a mediocre death. It'll be very painful. With you, like you're you're in a dangerous position, man. If you don't change radically as soon as possible, hop on that sound room and grind. Start your fitness journey. Start your intellectual intellectual journey. Try to learn more. Try to grind more. Put your head down to the stone and grind for the next five years of your life. Thirty five right now. Grind for the next five years. You're forty. Okay, now you got a bit of money going. Now you got your business going. Now you're in good, in somewhat good shape after five years of working out. You can actually get shit done. You can actually start living life. And go outside, go to clubs maybe even, have a bit of money spending clubs, trip a couple girls over there, get some experience, get out get out there again. But you'll be 40 doing that. I mean, you, you have to look down and settle down bro, like as fast as possible, to be honest. A year of dating is too, like, still like a lot, a lot of time for you. Bro, I've seen your other videos. At least the title, I haven't watched them, and I don't think I should watch them. Because it's going to be like, cope and bullshit. Oh, I'm victim and thing in the past and this in the past. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Lay off the video games. Lay off the drugs if you want them. Alcohol, weed, cocaine, anything, any, any, any drugs. Lay, lay off of it. What the fuck are you doing with your life, man? It's pissing me off. I see you. And you're, you're kind of a reflection of myself if I keep moving on to the bad habits. If I keep, like, you know, watching porn and doing... If I, if I get an alcohol addiction, I do this, uh, if I keep doing that, I, I will become exactly like you. I do not want to become like you. You said it yourself, your friends keep you around because you're a constant reminder of how their lives could have been worse. Prove them wrong. The fuck? It's not over till you're dead. You have wasted all those years. Yes, you have. And people already tell you constantly in any argument you're probably in. Oh yeah, but you wasted 15 years, 20 years of your life. Yeah, true. What do you do? What do you do about it? There's only one way you can change this. There's only one way up. You know that, right? That is to take control of your life. Books I would recommend. The Millionaire at Fast Lane by MJ Marco. All scripted by MJ Marco. The Way Rat Race Escape by MJ Marco. It's also called Unscripted. All of MJ Marco's work. It's phenomenal. I would recommend watching more Hamza videos. If you know Hamza is, you've probably seen him around. He's everywhere. Watch more of his videos. You might hate him. Like, 
You probably do hate him, you like geek. Of course you're gonna hate him. Fuck. This is pissing me off. This is making me genuinely mad. And I'm mad not in a sense of like hatred. I'm mad that you are not seeing how much of a victim mentality you're having. How much of a person you're just constantly like, sleeping in the past. I don't know. You're constantly present in the past. Oh yeah, that girlfriend, that relationship I had 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Bro, she has another man now. Bro, has kids now. Bro, he's settled down now. Okay? You had your chance. You blew it. Who gives a fuck? Not me. I don't care. Oh man. Adam. If you do not take control of your life sooner or later, everything will come crashing down. Your parents are probably old now. They won't be able to work any longer if they are working. You won't be able to stay in you live in a house. You probably won't stay in that. When you live in a flat, you'll probably most likely won't be able to stay, stay in that. If you do not take control of your life sooner or later, it will come crashing down. Have a sense of urgency. Stop living in the fucking past. Lay off the video games. Lay off the distractions. Lay everything off. Not the video games is the only thing I have. Shut the fuck up. No, it isn't. You have your life. Quite, it's quite annoying seeing you. Very, very annoying seeing you. I'm quite pissed by it. Fuck, oh, man. I don't want to be like you at all. That should piss you off. I hope this video pissed you off. I hope you're angry at me. Because if you're angry at me and angry in general, you might actually do something about it. God damn, man. 35 years old. What's a mediocre job? Crying about getting rejected by university. So? Do I look like give a fuck? Does anyone give a fuck? No. They might make fun of you. They might look at you like, oh yeah, my life. I'm so glad my life wasn't like that. So? Why do you give a fuck? You care too much about the pains of others. How they could have viewed you. You care too much about how you're viewed by other people. You shouldn't be going out at all. In fact, you're even going out with friends sometimes. It's stupid. They're just going to laugh at you. They're not even your friends. You hang out with them because you don't feel lonely. Just, I, I really resonated with what you said with I'm in the same room that I was maybe, uh, for these how many years, and it's like a prison cell. Yeah, it's gonna be like that, bro. Fuck. It is genuinely gonna be like that. It's gonna be like a prison cell. And you're the one that chose to stay in there. And you go outside. Going outside is free. Exercise is free. Walk on your looks is free. Mewing is free. Mewing is like literally swallowing. And your tongue is in place. And it sucks the fat from here up. That's free. Drinking water is free. You clearly are comfortable enough or uncomfortable within your own mind. Physically, you're comfortable enough. You don't face any trial and tribulation. If you, if you became homeless tomorrow, you would take action. Would you not? Or would you just stay one of the homeless guys in the street? What would happen? Come on, man. Jesus Christ. Has, anyone, has no one told you, told you about responsibility and discipline? Take responsibility for your life. It's your fault. Yes, it is your fault. Yeah, but could it also be your fault that you're in fantastic shape? It could be also your fault that you're strong, you're handsome, you're rich. But what do you instead decide to do? Be a loser at home. Or work a minimum wage job. And, or the economy is shit. I heard you say the economy is shit. I, was like, I, knew, I knew this guy was a lost cause. I knew you were a lost cause, Adam. You have this victim mentality. You need to change what's in here. Then you can begin to change what's around you. Maybe like, oh, that's like superficial, blah, 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 bullshit, blah, blah, blah. No, put the negative comments. Keep the negative thoughts. Write them down, even. And sit down and analyze, why did I think this thought? Why is a 17-year-old kid who's in infinitely better shape than me, looks infinitely better than me, with more money than me, telling me this shit? Because I care. Don't, make, don't let me down. Let me disappoint you, man. Listen. You need, to get, you need to get in a fantastic physical shape. It's very, very difficult at your age. You're actually at your physical prime. You're supposed to be your physical prime, and you probably got like a stick from what I've seen. Jesus Christ, it's very annoying seeing you. You go outside, clearly. 
any recreational activities. You can go sign up for the gym, go start going to the gym. Come and then you, you get exercise at home. Push ups are free, pull ups are free. Pull ups, if you don't have a pull up bar, you can buy one for £10 in it. I bought one for £10. It's out there, it's out there. I've never had it for the last 10 years. Only in the recent one year I've started using it properly. I've been working consistently for one year, and that's the only time I've felt truly alive. Other than that, I feel like I'm in a diluted sandstorm. My hair is scuffed. Listen, Adam, you don't take control of your life. You're gonna get fucked, bro. Or you're gonna turn old. That's gonna be. That's, gonna, that's the next level fuck. You're gonna turn old. And you're gonna be like, oh, I wish I had do over. Oh, no, no. You have no kids. You have no legacy. You have no future. And that thing, that should piss you off. No more World of Warcraft, you play that stupid shit. No more, <laughs> no more video games, no more streaming. If you have a good PC, try to sell it. Get a sheet off this PC, I have a sheet off the PC. It's a built-in PC, look at this. It's a built-in PC, it's all in ones, it's trash. I'm so grateful that I have it, why? Because then I can't play the real games. Because if I could, then I would be sucked up with the real games. I'd be grinding all the time. Now I'm forced to record videos like this and make YouTube videos. I can edit with a very basic editing software. I, I can't even you run a good editing software. I might, I might have to invest in that one. But even then, I'm reluctant to invest in a, in a bad PC. Because no, if I download a single video game, well, it, it's like a drug. I'm going to be addicted. All the bad habits, cut them out. You have to cut them out as soon as possible. You need brutal determination and consistency. Every single day you wake up, 5 a.m., start working out. 6 a.m. coffee, breakfast, okay, get back to work. Work with them with your own projects. You have a work, then go to work. After you work, you clock out. 9, 10, 9, 10. Maybe you can work a 9 to 5. I doubt it. Maybe you work like a 12 hour shift. You, okay, you can work a 12 hour shift for a while. You have no, no time. I don't know how much time you work. That's the only thing I don't think you talk about in your videos. And as you work a 9 to 5, it's an 8 hour shift. Okay, you come home, 5 p.m. What are you gonna do? You just sit down and watch the movies? Watch porn, waste your time, jerk off. It's like an hour wasted, man. What's wrong with you? An hour, read books. Psychology is sells by Brian Tracy. All the books, like I mentioned before, all of MJ Marcos' work, all of Brian Tracy's work, all of Robert Greene's work, 48 Laws of Power. Try to learn something. Coding, you learn coding for free. Harvard has a free coding course. The only reason you go to Harvard is not because of learning. You go to Harvard. So you can tell people you went to Harvard and you have a certificate to back it up. It's all social status. But if you want Harvard level education, it's literally right there on the PC. That you have. You have a computer. I see you have a computer. You don't record that with nothing. If you have a phone, bro, you have a phone. If we have a tablet, you, bro, there's no excuses. You are just too lazy in order to take action on your life. And it's pissing me off. It's pissing you off as well. Because that what does that lead to? You staying in the same exact position all these years. Nothing's changed, has it? The last decade. Why have you done the last decade? Just bunch of nothing days. Seriously. And that does not make you angry in any way. It should make you angry. Be pissed. Those friends, don't go to go out things with them. Let them laugh at you. When you're 50, and you have it all together, hopefully your dick still works, and you have kids by then, the life can be good. Okay, you have missed out if you're rich or you're younger. I'm, 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 it, oh, this is a horrible thing to think about, but you have to think about it. If you're rich, younger, life would be so much better. But you're not rich, younger, are you? So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna, gonna keep thinking about it? You're gonna keep direct, distracting yourself, deluding yourself with, oh, I'm gonna be daydreaming. Oh, could it be like this? Could it be like that? No, you're gonna do what you best you can you do the best possible action now. You can do what you can now. We need to push, 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 push now. Because now is the only time that matters. Okay? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Other message to that I had. Take control of your life. Yours. Take control of your life. 1% of the global population is 79 million people. It used to be 75 million people. The world population is ne nearing 8 billion at the moment. So that's, it's actually 79 million people. Those are the top billionaires. Those are billionaires. Um, centi, centi millionaires, hundreds of millionaires. Those guys are disgustingly filthy, amazingly rich. 
and there's millions of them, 5% of the world population, all multi-millionaires, all rich, all strong, all have beautiful lives, 5% of the population, 400 million people, 20% of the population, 1.2 billion people, these are the wealthy ones, the wealthy people, think about it, oh but then there's people in here, da, da, da. no, just no, just didn't think about it, okay guys, there is so much wealth out there to be taken, there is so much power out there, that could be yours, just a good lifestyle there, out there, just right for the taking, you just need to put in effort, in the right possible, in the right thing, in order to take it, I don't want to hear any more excuses, the economy is shit, and Yo, I work a minimum wage job, you just get by. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! <sighs> this video might get taken out, I don't care, man. But that wasn't out of a place of hatred, that was a place of frustration. Fucking collecting your stress onto me. Shut up. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Don't look like I care. Yeah, I do care because I made this video. But then after a while, I'll continue with life. I mean, I'll continue my business. Continue working. Put my head down the right front. Get into shape. I'm gonna forget. I'm making this video as like an online journal type thing. And you're like, oh, I'm looking for a pity party on your thing. You are looking for a pity party. You are. It's not a pity. You don't say it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. Get mad. Get serious. You're not serious, bro. It's costing you. Day by day. Hour by hour. Minute by minute. If you're watching this, Adam, I genuinely hope you have a good life. I don't think it's very, very difficult for you to see now, considering the life you've led so far. I genuinely hope, from the bottom of my heart, that you lead a good life. That you stop looking like a geek. That you get into shape. You look the best possible. You look the best possible version of yourself. You become the best possible version of yourself. Your wallet gets fat. You have a beautiful girlfriend. You have a bunch of your wife, and you, you, you get married. You have kids. I hope you have a wonderful life. But you're not going to have it if you keep doing this stupid shit. You need to change what you're doing. You need to reinvigorate what you're doing. You need, you need to have to take action on the right things. God. So I recommend those books. I recommend Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. I recommend or The Slight Edge by, I don't know, it's called The Slight Edge. Such a Slight Edge book, PDF, download. You get the book. <sighs> Deep Work by Cal Newport, amazing book. That I haven't read yet, so I'm just saying, I just said amazing book. You believe me for a second, didn't you? You idiot. I want to read it now, though. I've got a tablet right here. I'm a really lucky guy. I've got a tablet. Pretty old. I think it's probably pretty sleek. I just finished the book, Unscripted by MJ Marco. He says something interesting. He says, In the end, we all share humanity that cannot be rewound. Some write the story of that experience, while others allow the script to steal the pen. The script being go to school, go to college, go to university, get a job, do your A levels, do your degree, do something like that. Da, 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 da. You broke you broke down because you couldn't get a civil engineering job and then you became a, you got an electrician, you became an electrician of the apprenticeship in your job in front like a like a, like a, like a scumbag, like a scammer. Or who cares if money's getting put in the bank account? Who cares? I don't care. You can only learn it along the way as well. While others allow the script to steal the pen. Our primordial pages of time don't care if you acknowledge the universal truth of our civilization. It bleeds unceremoniously, only becoming ceremonious when the terminal health diagnosis arrives. Or worse, it's gone, leaving nothing but a funeral. Don't be that person. Don't be that person dreaming of a do-over. Your time machine is here and it's telling you to change the history of what you may become. Start now, not tomorrow. Not next week or after you get paid. Not after you get that great idea. My friend, this is the first day for the, of the rest of your life. It is precious and it is yours. Don't give the script the deed to your life. Claw it back. Rip it up. And rewrite your own unscripted story. 
Good luck and may God, Jesus, Allah, Yahweh, Buddha, advanced ETs, random coagulating amino acids, the opera, new age, karma god, or whoever has engineered our breathing this is on this tiny dot in the universe, bless your journey. Hashtag time machine, hashtag start today, hashtag read up the script, hashtag unscripted, hashtag the end. My face. I was a book, I was scripted by Indian Marvel, and I just finished that book, and it was fucking amazing, bro. Jesus Christ. I don't think I understood enough of it, to be honest. No, honestly. But quite angry. When I have it. It's quite, um, quite annoying. Listen, guys, um, I don't know if anyone really watching right now, Adam as well, especially Pastor Pilot Sang's video too. Do not give up hope. Do not ever give up hope. Don't look for a pity party. Don't look for the next big thing. Or wait after you get paid. Don't wait. You don't have time left. You're almost 40. Think about that. Write that on your wall. I'm almost 40. The right stick or twist in your wall as well. Stick or twist is very, very important philosophy. But the, the general basis of the philosophy, according to my first man, is are you sticking or are you twisting? Sticking as in, I'm sticking in the same place I am like I am now. I'm doing the same exact shit that I was doing before. I'm working the same exact job. I'm, doing, I'm, working, I'm sleeping in the same exact place. I'm living the same exact life. I'm doing the same exact bullshit habits. Or am I twisting? Am I starting to work out? Am I starting to read books? Am I trying to start... Focus on business. Am I studying up on coding, programming, trying to learn and create something after thereafter? Am I doing something with my life? Bro, Jesus Christ, man. You're not doing anything with life. You're blaming the economy. You're blaming your job. You know, my job doesn't give me enough income. You're blaming the uh, thing, this, that, that. The university rejected me and I don't do good at my a a GCSEs and A-levels. Bro, that was like 10 years ago. That was like 15 years ago. Nobody gives a fuck. It's all pointless. No one cares. It's about money. Make more money. Just do your own shit. And you'll be successful. God. I think it's some broke man. Look at small. Oh, man's like sucks. Man, I'm massive. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Apologize for the long rant. This guy, I'm, I'm, you look like a geek, bro. You look like people who are talking about the beta male. Don't have it. You look like a literal beta male. You look like a mad scientist. You look horrible. But it doesn't have to be that way. Because I looked horrible too. I was fat. I was obese. I was two inches shorter and I was obese. I was 18 kilograms heavier. At my heaviest, I was 88 kilograms, 5 foot 5. I'm currently 5 foot 7. 70 kilograms. Uh, can you believe that? Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. I was fat, I was ugly, I was just anxious, I was depressed, I was down bad. But I changed it. I invoked change in my life. I listened to everyone who was talking shit to me. Suck it up like a buttercup. And I changed it. I moved on. People look at me now, especially my secondary friends, my secondary school, and my old college friends, they look at me now, they're like, bro, who are you? I'm a completely different person than I was before. And this hairstyle sucks, bro. This hair sucks, bro. <laughs> ah, doesn't look right. <laughs> I had okay hair the entire video. I don't like that. It's like this, like a Karen haircut. I don't like it. I'm gonna try to grow up the back as well. I'll go back to my pretty quick. Try to grow up the back. Get a get the mullet again. Well, ask my mom to do my hair. I might just cut my own hair because you know, being resourceful, right? That's all my. That's all I'm gonna say for this video. It's quite a long message, almost a half an hour video. It wasn't my intention to talk this much, but it, what all words need to be said in order for you to change your life. And no one is clearly giving you this message. The people that do give you this message, they're probably giving you in a hateful, sarcastic, you know, mocking way. Which is not 
and the best way to go about things. If you can take that, take that mocking advice, like, ah, oh, you're useless, you're a loser, and you can take it in, you can genuinely take it in and use it as fuel in order to change, sure. But you don't, you haven't done that. You're still a geek, you're still in the same place forever. And I'm still going to keep telling you you're a geek. You're a geek. I was a geek. I stopped being a geek. I thought with the glasses, I hated the glasses so much. But with these glasses, I still look like a geek, in my opinion. This has a suck, bro. My hair. He's like, my hair not listening to me. I'm trying to get that Korean look, but uh, it's not. Okay. It's, it's like. Go this way, go this way. No. No. I look, I'm bowling. I'm bowling, guys. No, I'm not. Little big ass forehead. You. That's all I'm gonna say about this video. I'm pretty done with this. I wish you the best, Adam. I wish you the best, everyone who are watching. Oh, the hair in my eye. Catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> I'm about to read this. It's only 200 pages. Quite a short book, to be honest. The other book, like, any 200 page book is like, I feel it's very short to be that these days. Especially after it's scripted. It took a month for something to read, though, which is quite annoying. A book a month is like, what, 12 books a year, which is too much, too little. It should be a book a week, and it's 52 books a year. Then I can actually get the information going. Man, this is not a separate, separate video. Can you get the next video?